Never date a man you are more successful than. It's going to come back and bite you in the you know what. Never ever date a man you are more successful than. This is part two. This one is specifically for my sisters, my African sisters who like to go back home and bring a man here. Never ever ever date a man that you're more successful than. When you're here in America, you automatically have more than most of the men back home because here you have a permanent job the people back home because of the lack of jobs the bad messed up economy just a whole lot is going on so they are not if you're gonna level the playing field they are not as successful as you are they might have their own business they might have something going on but still you are up here so to speak and they are kind of down here if you ever date a man that is more successful than you, he hates you. He does not like you. And I know you're going to say, oh, hate is such a strong... He hates you. Let me give you a little tip. If a man who is successful, who has his own money, he has his own place, he's doing very well for himself. If that man approaches you, that means he likes you. That man knows that he can protect you. He can provide for you. He can do things for you. He likes you. That is the reason why a lot of times men cheat on their successful women with less successful women. And everybody's so confused. Like, why would he do that? That makes no sense. No, it makes a lot of sense. Because that is his God-given nature to be the provider. So that woman that has less than him is going to see him as that. She's going to see him as this provider and protector. And he's going to be in his 10th percent of masculinity because he feels like he can do for her. He has more than her. And again, if he chooses that woman, he actually likes her. He's not just doing it because he wants to sleep with her. He actually likes her. A broke man excuse me, on the other hand, that comes to you and wants to date you, does not like you. He hates you. He's only using you. He's using you as a placeholder. He's using you to climb the social ladder until he can get where he wants to be. And 99.99% of the time, he's going to leave you in the most disrespectful way ever. He's going to leave you. All right, so let's go back. <clears throat> Excuse me, my voice keep cracking. Um, let's go back to the African sisters example. And again, this can happen to anybody here in America, but I see this a lot in the African community. So I want to speak on that. The, the likelihood for a relationship that the person came here or came from here, came from, you know, abroad to go back home and marry somebody and bring, in, and bring them, the likelihood for that relationship to last um, is higher for men than it is for women. Let me explain that again. A man is more likely to have a lasting relationship with a woman that he went back home and got and brought here than a woman who goes back home and does the same thing. Again, if that man leaves here, goes back home and marries that girl, he is he is operating in his masculinity. He is providing and protecting. He is showing his loyalty to her. He's attracted to her. He likes her. He thinks she's beautiful. And that's the woman, that's the kind of woman he can afford. And that woman is going to look up to him. She's going to have more respect for him. She's going to see him as a provider and a protector. So the likelihood for that relationship to last is higher. Not saying that these women don't leave the men, but if you look at history, if you look around you, if you look in the community, the likelihood for that specific relationship to last is so much higher. On the other hand, the likelihood for a woman who's in America to leave here, go back home, marry a man, bring him over here is less. Why? Because now the female is acting more masculine. 
You are the one showing interest in this man. You are the one showing loyalty and men don't like that. They don't naturally like that. And don't get me wrong. Some of these men are appreciative. They are happy that someone is helping them put them and their families in a better social position, in a better financial position, in just a better overall position. A lot of these men are grateful, but their natural instinct is not to be courted by a woman. It's not to be provided for by a woman. So a lot of times those men come, sometimes they pretend to love you for a while. They Some of them can't even hold it. The first time they come here, they're already cheating one week two weeks they already have a side chick they don't even they can't even speak english well but they have this side chick who is teaching them how to speak english <laughs> but some of them depending on the situation or maybe how old they are or the looks if it's a good looking man he's not gonna last he's not gonna he's not gonna last with you because he feels emasculated he feels like he doesn't feel like a man with you he feels like a child with you and that's the quickest way to turn a man off when you're doing for them and overdoing for them. All right. So they come here. A lot of them are going to pretend for a while until they get to the position that they need to be in. And then the cheating start and then the disrespect start. And as soon as it start, it never goes back. You can't fix that. A man who you helped, who came here and is appreciative He's never going to disrespect you. He's never going to cheat on you. He's going to be forever grateful and he's going to respect you. But once you start seeing those little, little disrespect, the cheating, this and that, it's only going to get worse from there. And again, let me clarify, this is not the case for everyone. Some men do come here. They appreciate the woman and they stay loyal to her. They respect her and they stay with her. But again, majority of the time, it doesn't work. The likelihood for that relationship to work is if the man was the one who went back home and brought the woman here. So with that said, sisters, there are men everywhere in this country or in these countries. You can find a man anywhere. The best thing you can do for yourself is to find a man that is at your level. In this case, a man who's already here. You have a job. He has a job. You guys are on the same level and you figure it out or a man who has more than you do not waste your time dating a man who has less than you he's going to resent you you cannot love a man into being in love with you you cannot love a man into being loyal to you you definitely cannot love it love a man hold him down be the most the best girl it's a turn off for them if you didn't know it. It's a turn off. Again, that is why the successful football player, athletes, all of those people, as soon as they get that bag, they go look for the girl that looks like a Barbie doll. They know fully well that she's not going to do 50-50 with them. They know fully well that she has nothing and every money she has, she spends on herself and her looks. They like that. Men are going to tell you, I like natural women. I don't like women that wear makeup. Those are the broke dusties who want to humble you and keep you at a certain level so that they can continue to control, use, and manipulate you um, so that you don't get away from them. But the minute they get some kind of social status, some kind of money, some kind of power, they are going for the girls with the makeup and the, the the body done and this and that and that. Again, this is not every single situation, but it's most likely that situation. So you're better off with a man who's successful and has his ish together. That man coming to you tells you that he actually wants you. He likes you. There's something about you versus a man who's broke. This man is homeless and you're a whole homeowner. And you think that you have true love with him? No, he's using you for a place to stay. This man doesn't have a job. You have businesses and you're clothing him and feeding him and paying for his facials, his massage and this and that. And you think he loves you? He doesn't love you, he actually hates you. He's gonna use the things you're doing for him to attract other women. Comment your thoughts down below.